Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today we are going to talk about some more tags of HTML5. Today I am going to teach you the radio button tags. Um, so my title will be as uh, radio button as usual. Um, okay. Uh, I hope that you are all understood the last uh, last classes and all this. So I'm going to tell you about one more tag in the HTML5 that is nothing but the radio button and uh, we are all talking about from the last few days as an input 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 tag right in the input tag itself we are having one of the attribute which is um, going to have the type as radio uh, so uh, we'll uh, use it uh, we'll give uh, I'm writing the type as radio that is nothing but the radio button that's going to be display uh, for what purpose I'm giving this radio will be given in the name of this. Well, it is not, uh, uh, it is not compulsory. We can use or we doesn't use. There is no problem. I'm gonna use as gender. No, uh, gender will be having only one, right? So uh, not any person doesn't have the two or more genders for the. <laughs> I hope no. <laughs> so this is nothing but the uh, input radio uh, input tag within that we are having an attribute of type which is having the radio as one of the feature in it and uh, I'll copying this if male is there there must be a female for that so I'm copying it here and I'm gonna save it um, paste it again I'm gonna write it as her female okay uh, what is the difference uh, between the radio button and the check boxes? Uh, I hope you are all well known about the check boxes and the radio buttons, but I'm gonna say it again for you guys. Uh, the radio button is nothing but the button which is having only one option to select. Because if we are the gender, we we may be the female or we may be the we may be the male, but we doesn't be the both, right? Um, we are having only one option to select in it. But in the check boxes, we can select uh, whatever we want. I mean the two options if you are both the female and the male also you can select it mm, uh, i'm going to show you that check boxes also here it's uh, i'll take this only as a copy uh, i'm going to paste it here um, in this mail uh, here we having the type the type was only going to change going to change here that is nothing but not the radio button it is check box okay guys it is checkbox and I'm gonna copy this again and I'm gonna paste it here I'm going to change it as female the only difference between the radio button and the checkbox is I already said to you and I'm again I'm saying to you guys in the radio button we can only use uh, we can only use the uh, one option and but in the checkbox we can use uh, both the options or we can uh, mark a, a number of options whatever you want so uh, this is nothing but the radio button and the checkbox I'm gonna save this and we're gonna see how it's gonna look in your web page refresh okay male female male female we got it here but I'm going to put some break here if it works um, okay I'm gonna save it again for your conveniency because uh, you, you can look it better if we put break there see male female and male female but the radio buttons were going to be round and the check boxes or like the square boxes I'm gonna select male and if I get select female, the male will be disabled because we are having only one option to select. And uh, in the checkbox, I'm going to select as male and I'm going to select as female. Both are selected. This is nothing but the checkbox and this is nothing but the radio buttons. And now I'm going to talk about one more, which is very interesting. But I forget, but it is a basic tag. But I forget to say you that is nothing but the image tag. Image tag. Uh, it is not, it is going to be start as img and the image tag uh, doesn't have any end tag for slash image and all this but it is having the two attributes as source and source source is the main attribute for this where the source from where i'm going to get my image we'll put some uh, link here uh, if you are having one of the image on my desktop i'll see if I had any image on my desktop, okay. I have this. Um, I'm going to copy this. Here it is. Properties. Okay. Okay, in the properties, 
I'm going to copy the uh, location of it. Control C. Okay, guys. Mm, there's my notepad here. Um, Control V and in between slash. I'm going to put what is that Indian flag, right? Indian flag. What? How I wrote? Uh, what? Uh, in what type you wrote? Also, you need to copy this base because of that you can just directly copy it. Dot PNG. It was N. Okay, then I'm going to write here as uh, Indian flag dot png this was my source of my image uh, for image we doesn't need any extra uh, I mean any extra attributes for it but we have many attributes but what is the main attribute that we have to use is uh, the location the location where it was where the pic was located I mean where your image was located I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna see because I'm having doubt that it will show or not see my Indian flag was displayed right Indian flag was displayed I I don't want to display this much big I want to display with a little um, uh, smaller in size then we can uh, make it as uh, by using the two more attributes within this that is as width and height uh, width and height I'm gonna give the width as um, okay what a number we have to give uh, doesn't getting anything okay hundred uh, and um, height as also hundred um, how it gonna look we're gonna see it I'm gonna save this I'm gonna save this um, okay see guys okay here is my uh, engine flag this is nothing but the image tag and buttons in the checkboxes thanks for watching this video if you like my video subscribe to my channel